For today's video, we are going to talk about what is partitive proportion and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say partitive proportion, the quantity is divided into two or more parts based on the given fixed ratio of the parts. In solving partitive proportion, always remember, equate the sum of the parts to the whole quantity. And these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to solve partitive proportion. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, divide 430 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5. To divide 430 in the given ratio, let me show you two different solutions. The first one, since we have the given ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5, we are going to have 2x plus 3x plus 5x equals 430. And then let us have 2x plus 3x plus 5x, that is 10x equals 430. Let us divide both sides by 10. Let us cancel this one. So x equals 430 divided by 10, that is 43. So this will be the value of x. And to find the value of each ratio, let us have 2x equals 2 times the value of x, that is 43. And that is 86. And then, let us have 3x equals 3 times 43, and that is 129. And lastly, let us have 5x equals 5 times 43, it will give us 215. And if you are going to write our answer in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5, we are going to have 86 is to 129 is to 215. This will be our answer. The second solution that I'm going to show you in order for us to divide 430, let us have the sum of the ratio and let us write this one on the denominator and that is 10. And then let us have 2 multiply by 430. Let us write 2. 430 divided by 10 and that is 43. 43 times 2, and that is 86. And then, let us have 3 over the sum of the ratio, that is 10, multiplied by 430. 430 divided by 10, that is 43, multiplied by 3, and that is 129. And then, let us have 5 over the sum of the ratio, that is 10, times 430. 430 divided by 10, that is 43 times 5 and that is 215. So as you can see, we come up with the same answer. On example number 2, Karen wants to donate her collection of figurines to four friends in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 5. She has a total of 96 figurines. If her best friend wants the most number of figurines, how many figurines will she get? Since her best friend wants the most number of figurines, to determine the number of figurines will she gets, let us have the highest ratio, and that is 5. And then, let us have the sum of the ratio, that is 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5, that is 12. Let us write this one on the denominator. And let us multiply 5 over 12 by the total number of figurines, that is 96. So let us write 5. And then, 96 divided by 12, and that is 8. 5 times 8, that is 40. So this will be the number of figurines that her best friend gets. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, the event coordinator allocated revenue of the event among the creative director, flourish, and the assistant in the ratio of 5 is to 2 is to 3. If the total revenue for the project was 90,000 pesos, how should it be distributed among the team? To answer the given problem, since we have a ratio of 5 is to 2 is to 3, let us write this one as 5x plus 2x plus 3x equals 90,000 pesos. Let us have 5x plus 2x plus 3x and that is 10x equals 90,000 pesos. Let us divide both sides by 10. Let us cancel this one. So, x is 90,000 divided by 10, and that is 9,000. And this will be the value of x. 
And to find the value of each ratio, let us have 5x equals 5 times the value of x, and that is 9,000. 5 multiplied by 9,000, that is 45,000 pesos. So this will be the amount received by the creative director. And then, let us have 2x, 2 multiplied by 9,000, that is 18,000 pesos. So this will be the amount received by Flourish. And then, let us have 3x equals 3 times 9,000, and that is 27,000 pesos. So this will be the amount received by the assistant. So if you are going to write our answer in the ratio of 5 is to 2 is to 3, we are going to have 45,000 pesos is to 18,000 pesos is to 27,000 pesos. This will be our answer. On our last example, D, E, and F are partners sharing profits and losses 1 over 6 to D, 2 over 6 to E, and 3 over 6 to F. If a share in a net income is 9,000 pesos, find the total net income. To determine the total net income, let us find first the net income of D and F. Since we have 1 over 6 to D, 2 over 6 to E, and 3 over 6 to F, let us write this one in the form of ratio. So let us have 1 is to 2 is to 3. 1 over 6, that is 1. 2 over 6, that is 2. 3 over 6, that is 3. And if you are going to add this one, we are going to have 6. Since the net income of E is 9,000 pesos, let us have 2x equals 9,000 pesos. Because 9,000 pesos represents 2 over 6, and 2 over 6, that is 2. That's why we are going to have 2x equals 9,000. Let us divide both sides by 2. Let us have x equals 9,000 divided by 2. That is 4,500 pesos. So this will be the net income of D. And to find the net income of F, let us have 3x equals 3 times 4,500. And that is 13,500. So this will be the net income of F. And the net income of E is 9,000 pesos. So to determine the total net income, let us have 4,500 plus 9,000 pesos plus 13,500. So if we are going to add this one, it will give us 27 so this will be the total net income. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.